there, welcome back. Um, between not having any bloody free time at all and having a really nasty dose of laryngitis, laryngi laryngi laryngitis even, um, that basically I couldn't talk for a couple of days. Um, I've been off the air for a little bit, but I'm back on the YouTubes and today, rather than looking at what I was supposed to be bringing you, which is a nice little review of uh, Soul Reaver, which I've well, had half finished before my voice went, um, I'm going to look at this screamer now. I don't know if you can see the reflection on that. I'm going to do something like, I normally hate these, but it's just the chance to do it. This is, uh, I'm going to do an unboxing. Yes, I know, they're pathetic. Look, nerds on the internet, look, he's opening a box. Look, oh, there's packaging. Um, I know, it's, um, I figure, feck it. You know, it's a sealed box from like 1995. Um, Way to open it. Uh, this is, for those of you that uh, are just used to Steam, and uh, before we had Steam, we had lovely DVD still cases for our games. Uh, or CD cases if you're buying really cheap ones from, from PC World or whatever. But before that, they came with these lovely big boxes, um, which look fantastic on your shelf. Um, but anyway, this is Screamer. Um, it's the reason I have a lovely Ridge Racer Revolution running in the background there. Is Screamer was the PC beat uh, the PC's answer to, to Ridge Racer. Sorry, Ridge Racer! To give it its proper title. So that's the, the condensed version. I think the, the full one goes on for a couple of minutes. Anyway, Screamer uh, was basically for us PC types, uh, this was our answer. Um, it was basically very similar to this, as you're going to see. Um, anyway, the cellophane is coming off slowly, unveiling what's inside. Um, it's basically drive around lovely, luscious looking uh, tracks um, and drive your super performance sports car against the clock, against other cars, and um, yeah, it's, yeah, sorry, just making sure it's recording, sorry folks, very professional, I just realised I'd make sure I'm actually recording the bloody things as I'm opening it. Uh, yeah, so basically, racing against other cars, racing against the clock, in lovely, lovely, luscious places such as you see before you. This, as I said, you're actually looking at, whoops, when I drop it, this is um, the Ridge Racer Revolution. This is just to give you a, a very quick comparison uh, to, to the kind of game you're going to see. Anyway, let's get this opened. Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay, so basically you've got a box. Uh, you've got this. This is obviously the, the bit that where they're in between, you know, uh, CD cases and, um, you know, the, the old style packaging. So you have... <laughs> certainly, we're, certainly we're waiting nearly 20 years to open this. Uh, it's a really cardboard box. And the kind of thing that your, your CD driver or your CD or DVD drivers for your printer arrive in which you probably throw in the bin and download newer ones off the internet. It's a little, little uh, paper, a little paper pamphlet style uh, CD holder. Yes, lovely. Look, there's, there, ooh, that's what it looks like. So anyway, the reason I'm doing this today is uh, it's currently uh, Saturday night. I should really have better things to do. Um, it's a CD for those of you who've never seen a CD before. Kids and your Steam and your DLC and your downloads and your rock 'em sock 'em robots. Um, the reason I'm doing Screamer today is I got this ages ago. Uh, it actually turned up in work of all places. Uh, it was just in a box of old software. I I don't, I don't work anywhere in any kind of games normally. Uh, and one of the managers says, "Oh yeah, you take that if you want." So I was gonna do. I was gonna pop it open and do a review. So I tried getting. A, uh, obviously, I wanted to make sure it worked first. So I because I own software. Uh, this is about a year and a half ago. Uh, I went off and tried to, uh, should we say, get a shareware copy of it off the net uh, to run under DOSBox, and I could not get it running properly at all. It just, I could not get it running properly. I mean, I, <clears throat> I owned it at that stage, so you know, it's still morally right, legally wrong to have downloaded it. But anyway, anyway, I of course deleted the the files and burnt my computer, and uh, you know, we don't talk about it again. Anyway. Um, couldn't get it working on a DOS box. Uh, obviously, didn't want to open to the un the unopening and then not be able to review it. So I said I'd wait a little bit. So a year and a half later, um, I discovered that it's on Steam or not Steam. It's on GOG. Good old games. Fantastic site. If you don't know about GOG.com, I mean, you you're probably not into gaming if you don't know about GOG.com. But uh, it's well worth checking out. They've got literally amazing old games running. You know, that are designed to run under XP, Vista, Windows Seven, Windows whatever. Um, on Mac, they're in Mac and uh, there's a little bit of Linux as well now. But um, they've lots of cool stuff like Blood and Planescape Torment. And anyway, um, they had Screamer there before, but it was $6. And I didn't really kind of want to pay $6 for something that I already owned. Um, so I never kind of really got around to doing it. 
there is a um, sale at the moment. Um, they're doing a very interesting thing. Interplay. Uh, they're doing different Interplay titles. The gist of it is um, you can get eight games for paying as a little, much or as little as you want. Well, 99 cents US dollars is as little as it'll go. Um, and if you pay that, to pay the minimum, you get eight games. You can pay more than that because if you think it's worth more, then you can pay more. Um, if you pay above, I think, 12 or 13 dollars, you get uh, 20 games. Um, and some cool ones on there. Um, I forget now, like I said, I really should have made notes before I started recording this. Um, if you uh, if you pay thirty dollars, in other words, you pay a little bit more than the total average, uh, you get thirty four games. It's a really cool package, and it's well worth checking out. GOG definitely worth supporting. GOG Games, GoodOldGames.com. Um, but yeah, anyway, it was up there. Their games are all optimized to work with DOSBox. All the, the messing around has been taken out before you. So uh, that's why we're doing it today. The reason I'm saying the day, it's today is Saturday the... I think it's the 19th, is it? Um, or the 20th. The 20th, according to my camcorder here. Um, so the offer runs for 10 days. It basically isn't, I think it runs until the end of October 2012. So if you're watching this in 2013 and, you know, obviously the May and calendar has changed and we're all living you know with cockroaches and radioactive earth obviously you're not going to be too bothered about this but if you're watching this and it's before the apocalypse but after October um, it's still available but it'll be about five dollars or so um, so uh, but right now like I said you can pay a couple of quid for it uh, you get lots of other games you get seven other games as well VR software or v, v, what is it? VR soccer uh, some sort of actual soccer type thing um, Evolve has won Max and Max 2 or one single title. There's a few good games there anyway. Um, so it's well worth checking out. And like I said, by all means, pay more and get more. And you know, it's, it's a good deal. Everyone wins. But that's why I'm uh, looking at this today. So I'm going to fire this up on the PC. Um, I'm not even going to pretend to use a CD in this. It's not going to run on modern machines. Um, but uh, with the wizardry and magic that the GOG guys do, we'll have it running under. Uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 shortly, so uh, stay tuned. Hopefully I'm not being drowned out by the music with a rock and 80s soundtrack. Uh, I think I actually prefer the kind of mad, uh, kind of GABA techno that uh, Ridge Racer had, uh, even though I don't normally love that kind of music. Um, but uh, no, this is this is too bad. So anyway, Screamer, as I was saying before, it's uh, first PC owners back then. I was, I was a PC gamer and I was a PlayStation gamer back then. Uh, this would have been, you know, as close as we get to Ridge Racer, you know. Until they actually got Ridge Racer, um, but uh, it was kind of like a PC gamer's answer to Ridge Racer. Uh, it's like it, well, it, there's some similarities first of all. Um, yeah, similarities there first of all. Basically, uh, nice racing cars going around a uh, nice track. Why, why are you getting errors and recording to the SD card for no apparent reason? Anyway, sorry. Yeah, so basically, yeah, racing around kind of uh, towns, seaside resorts, alpine villages. Uh, you've actually got a couple of different tracks in this, so in that case, in, in the case of different tracks, uh, it beats the original Ridge Racer, which just had the, the one. So uh, let's get stuck in here. Um, now, we've got a few options as well. To go to a normal game first of all. Yeah, so there you go. Palm Town, I make Lindbergh. So, uh, Alpine Town, um, Blue Town, Ridge Racer Town. Yeah, the cars are pretty similar as well. Hammer, Tiger, Blue Steel, Shadow, Rising Sun, Sex Panther, Yankee, yeah, Lima, Foxtrot. Okay, let's just go with the uh, Ridge Racer you like. Shadow. Virgin Games own this, as you can probably see from the fact it says Virgin Games there. Um, Two, one, so, go. there is a bit of drift in this. It's drifting wise, um, it's getting sideways around the track. Uh, it's not as good as Ridge Racer. Uh, I'm playing with keys. It's, um, there we go. What I haven't tried it. It should pick up my PS2 joystick, but I just. This one. So a couple of options here. Uh, yeah, you can, as you can see, it is pretty Ridge Racer like. So we can zoom in a bit there. Zoom in to that weird camera angle. Uh, oh yeah, we got a. We got a bit of skid there. And 
then you get that weird camera angle they all seem to have where instead of you know looking through your windscreen you're actually looking through a camera on the bottom of the track or bottom of the car scraping the floor anyway let's go back to something we can actually see it's it is very like someone sat down with a clipboard beside a ridge racer and went you know uh you know go through a, a, a lit up tunnel check annoying guy talking to in the background giving you advice check fast cars check checkbox check um the draw distance unfortunately as you can see there it's popping up there um i haven't got around to really tweaking with this i just made a couple of minor changes to run it in open gl oh wow uh, yeah, it does that. Oh, shut up. Where's the Ridge Racer man when you need him? Um, Jake the Snake? Jake the Snake? What did I do with... Jesus, I think, you know, one of the... You think one of the main, you know, uh, priorities about, you know, when you're getting your announcers to make sure the guy can actually talk English. Anyway, I can barely do that. Fail English? Impossible. Anyway. I'm just gibbering now randomly. Yeah, so anyway, it does that sort of, when you crash, you've got, it's got to show your car flying up in the air to show that you crashed hard, but it doesn't want you to be able to race too long. Uh, happened there <laughs> they just paused and they kicked me at the desktop now bear in mind I run this uh, in a window on my uh, computer uh, lots of other crap running in the background uh, traps and uh, open GL mode as well oh wow uh, that guy's been annoying. he's getting switched off uh, yeah so um, a lot of reasons why it might have crashed plus my computer was telling me uh, my external drives are doing something really weird so uh I don't know. Anyway. Hey, what happened back there? That's what I was thinking. What happened back there? I got knocked out to the desktop. Anyway. Um, here's it. It gives you the replay. I mean, play-wise, uh, yeah, you know, much as I loved it back in the day, it's not as good as Ridge Racer. Uh, it just doesn't have that. Um, it just doesn't have that drift. It doesn't, well, the speed is there. The controls are just a bit ropey. Um, the Ridge Racer, you know, within a few minutes of playing it, you can be drifting around corners. Years ago, uh, to, it was our pre full game, this or Tekken, or, you know, uh, Street Fighter EX plus Alpha. Uh, but yeah, we used to basically just drink lots of cans of Stella and uh, play this, or play Ridge Racer rather, um, just over and over, getting skidding around corners. Uh, we got pretty good at it. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, this it looks nice. I mean, it's graphically. doesn't handle as well as Ridge Racer. Music is just generic rock. Uh, it's honestly, like I said, the, the kind of weird crazy J-pop GABA type craziness that is the Ridge Racer soundtrack. I wouldn't like normally, but it's just, hey, I'm so used to hearing it, you know, um, when I play these kind of games. It just, anything else feels unnatural. Um, the announcer is I, I, more annoying than the Ridge Racer three. announcer. No, one more lap, hang in there. Uh, he's actually worse. Um, yeah, that is obviously someone just literally sat down with the, uh, the Ridge Racer cab and, you know, just could have tried to copy a lot of it as much as they could, so that little tunnel is very similar. Um, let's see now. Let's go and let's quit this replay and try one of the other options. Play again. Uh, other things annoy me, you can't seem to change the controls, um, so you're stuck with basically this gears, which I'm, I'm playing automatic, um, and otherwise it's accelerate, brake, left and right, and they're just mapped to the, the arrow keys, and that's it, so if you, you know, want to play with something, like I prefer my brake on the space bar, but you can't do it. Um, time attack is in single player, um, Slalom actually I like, it's, let's pick a different town, let's go to... Lindbergh. Uh, 
Monster. Let's see. Ooh. Panther. A bit like a Porsche. So this is kind of a... German-esque, European-esque, you know, sort of... I like things like the, uh, I mean, it, it does... There we go. It does things like the, uh, little trams running there. Hey, it's Lewis. And... Is there my, my namesake for the, uh... The Dublin thing called the Lewis, uh, which is our local tram system. Anyway, you don't, you don't need to know that. So the gist of this is, uh... Go through the slalom gates to, uh... I'm to say, uh... Oh, it's kind of hit. Oh, just made that one. Yeah, basically, to get, get your time. Watch out for the next man! You ran out of time. Yes, I'm aware of that. Oh, the helicopter. Uh, yes, basically, let's play again. You go through the, the, the gates to just keep playing. Um, it's a nice little thing, it's a nice little add-on. Oh. Like I said, back in the day, this would have been really awesome running on the PC. I mean, it would have been... The fact it was on CD. I think there was a disc version. I can't remember certain. The fact it was on CD, it was, there was your anti-piracy right there. Because, you know, you'd, a, you'd like a, maybe a one gig drive or a two gig drive. Uh, oh, what the uh, so, you know, you couldn't just copy the data straight from your CD and keep it on the hard disk. You ran out of time. And, uh, you know, copying discs, would be, only Mr. Sony could do that. Uh, I'll play that again. Let's go with Cone Carnage. I, I, I should have read the manual, I should have ordered the FM here, but I did not. Uh, let's go with Hill Valley. Oh, Lake Valley. Hill Valley is the place for back in the future. Second favorite PC oh, racer. Get, get ten years. What the hell was that? Um, oh yeah. So basically, anyway, the gist of this is hit cones for extra points. This is my second favorite racer. Said I, I'm a huge fan of Whiplash or Fatal Racing, uh, depending on what part of the world you're from. Uh, oh. Will it let me roll over? Will it? Will it? You ran uh, out of folks, time. It is, I was hoping. People would wheel me over, the power of belief would get me over that line, but I didn't. Let's try something else there. Uh, yeah, anyway, Whiplash Fatal Racing, gonna look at it next time. Uh, well, next time I'm supposed to be looking at uh, or type or I'm supposed to be finishing off my, um, my Soul Reaver review, so... At some point I will look at Whiplash slash Fatal Racing, but it's a uh, good fun game, and... Oh, we're checking it out. Okay, last quick thing is to have a quick look at the... At the, um... at the, the championship mode. Um, now again, this is something that Ridge, uh, Ridge Racer didn't have. One. Go. Yeah, it's, it's... I don't seem to be able to perfect the, the fast start. Usually, it's, if you hit the revs just before the red line, you'll bomb, you know, you'll... Sorry, you won't bomb, you'll fly over the, the, the trap. Next one is like tricky! Just whip it. That's your red thing. Um, but just oh, work, I always seem to it very gradual takeoff. And the cars, the one thing I like is that you get a nice meaty impact when you hit the other cars. Oh, man, you blew it! You lost the lead! <laughs> it's a very odd AI there, he's just as I go into the lead. Um, yeah, anyway, Screamer, uh, the little Screamer 2, which was more of the same. Number the better, one! Just uh, what I see. Sorry, better graphics. Back down. Back down. Uh, Screamer Rally as well, which is... Guess Whoa, what that was? Right for the yeah, it was a puzzle game. And uh, no, Screamer Rally, uh, um, I can't remember, I really should put these things up before I start reviewing the videos. Get over, get over the line! Oh yes! Hey! You didn't let me get away with that! Oh! Wow! That hurt big time! Yeah, so, uh... God, that guy's annoying. Um... It, it spawned a couple of, kind of... It was a little mini franchise, like, ah, oh, a fantastic amount of games, but a good few. Um... Only one more to go! 
like it was a small enough developer behind I mean it was Virgin Publishing but a small enough developer behind it so uh, you know I didn't have the, 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 the kind of giant weight Namco constantly uh, bringing out newer versions of it like we have the Ridge Racer stuff I think it was an 8 or 9 now or you know what there's Unbounded which is basically like uh, you know Need for Ridge Racer it's probably like it seems probably like a Need for Speed game in the Ridge Racer game I've a disturbing amount of Ridge Racer games. I like the the other one. I don't I don't have the PSP one uh, because I don't have a PSP. Uh, I think I, I think there's a P, I think there's a, I've got one on the PS2. I think there's another one somewhere. Um, I got PS3. Anyway, I have a lot of them. I like the games a lot. I'm rubbish at them, but I like them. So uh, there you go. I came second there. Oh, I get to prepare for the next race. Prepare yourselves, folks. Uh, I was kind of hoping I'd give you a nice um. You know, an option of upgrading your car, but it doesn't, it seems to just, you know, cycle through the races. Two, one, go! I mean, the, uh, the mirrored effect on the, on the windows there would have been the bomb, I mean, like, you would have been just completely amazed. And that's still pretty cool now. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm just doing this completely on the fly here. He says as the mountains are gradually gone, but let's see what it would have looked like in on a oh, no. oh yeah, the uh, the network options are basically an IPX network. Uh, so it's gonna be a bit tricky to be playing that on your PCs. It's just a low detail. It doesn't seem to see any difference at all. Looks pretty similar. Look, I'm very, I'm playing it on a in OpenGL and a window, but it doesn't look too bad. One, go. But, you know, I was expecting the cars to be made out of Lego bricks. Uh, is that draw distance any better or worse? Or... So anyway, there you go, Screamer. Uh, not quite Ridge Racer, but pretty damn good, and it's well worth, like I said, if you happen to be watching this um, before the end of October 2012, uh, it's worth popping up to go on GOG.com, or you pick it up. Or like I said, even, you know, if it's going for maybe 4 or 5 dollars, it's worth, worth grabbing. Uh, you know, so if you miss out on that offer, you know, it might be worth having a look at later on. Um, the audio feel like it a better for me would be definitely, you know, a few more good people able to configure it. I mean, the best thing about PC games is that you can change everything, configure them, and, you know, you weren't as locked down. And this is as locked down as a, as a console game. But anyway, there you go. Screamer. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, folks, and uh, see you next time.